The AFL is back to a full week of matches for round 16, so let's get tipping, see how it goes. But first we must look at round 15 where we had six matches. Let's see how we did, it wasn't too bad. We started on Friday the 21st, Carlton versus Geelong, and I went for a Carlton win, just like 86% of people. There was no upset in this game. Although, no one got even remotely close because I did Carlton to win by 14, but they won by 63. Wow, um, a, a massive, massive win for Carlton, which puts them into second place. Still 12 points behind the Mighty Bloods, though. So we're safe, we're safe. Looking like we're going to finish top at this rate. we got to really do bad form for us not to finish top. Uh, so I get one point for the correct result. Then Saturday, it was Port versus Brisbane. And, okay, this was a fairly tight call. More or less 50-50, or should I say 56-44. And, well, this was the, a real surprise result. Once again, no one got close. Brisbane won by 79 points. Insane. I thought Port being at home, that is their big advantage. I knew their form wasn't amazing, but... They got blown out of the water. Incredible performance by the Lions, who are really now starting to hit form and definitely looking like a top eight side for sure. Next was the Sydney Derby, GWS versus the Bloods, Sydney Swans. And I got, I got everything there. This is fantastic. I did Sydney by 18. They won by 27. It was fairly, fairly comfortable throughout the game, which was good. Um, there wasn't any real, real worry. I was actually watching this uh, and it was a it was a solid, it was an average, but solid performance for sure. Um, so I get one and a half points and we beat our rivals. Get in there. Then it was the D's versus North. Now this was a crazy game in terms of, well, North, they had that chance to win it, didn't they? They really had their chance to beat a Melbourne side who is struggling. Melbourne won by three points. Incredible. I did them to win by 40. So I get one point for the win. Uh, North showing their courage, their pluckiness. And I watched the end of this and they were gutted. Absolutely gutted. Then Sunday, we had Essendon versus West Coast. West Coast putting in a performance of plenty of goals, but not enough to stop the 30-point win from Essendon. I get the point for the result and a close score because I was only 10 out. And then the last game was Frio versus Gold Coast. And Frio, I did to win by 22. They won by 20. So they were the favourites to win and they duly delivered. So I get another point and a half. The league table this week, Gurud still at the top, being chased. He's only 0.5 away, uh, away from RPM24, who goes goes up a place. Swanee Steve is still in third. A little bit of movement between Metal King, Yin, uh, Shrek up, Stinky Pinky up. Up 10, though, is Aaron. Very, very good. Seven, up 7, Jason D. Tasha up 9, AFL Legend drops down to 13th. But we have some movement here. WM Footy NRL up 10, 16, Ragnar Akex. Well done, buddy. Uh, up 11, Jaden Saints. Up 11, Keyboard Warrior. We've got some movement. Judo S down eight. Up 12, Sam Bird. Jackson up 11, a good week. Rach, ouch, down 17. But the golden hat going up 27 places is Go Bloods. I can rate that name all day long. Fantastic. Samster up 17. Brighton 75 up 21. Spite, uh, Spitiful down 13. Frenchie down 17. DJD down 10. Kev up 21. Let's keep scrolling down. Up 29. Magpies 2023. Wow. Uh, let's keep going. Up 28, Banger Harvey. Where am I, though? That's down 21, Roy Boy David. But where am I? I'm up three places, so I have gone up. But that's... I want more. Uh, up three places to 83rd is me, Rob Reacts. Down 15, Aussie TV. Down 20, Mighty Muffins Rule. Newtown Falconer down 16. Let's keep going. 
the wooden spoon. Only down three, but the wooden spoon goes to Kobe this week. I'm going to keep scrolling down so everyone can see where they are in the table. There's not a lot of movement going on down here, actually. Not a lot of movement. Oh, 17, 17, 14. Now there's some movement. And there you go, with 170 in the group at the moment. On to round 16 then, and we start on Friday at the Gabba in Brisbane with Brisbane Lions versus Melbourne Demons. Now this is a story of two teams going in two different directions. The Lions have found brilliant, brilliant form. It's amazing to think they're in 10th really. Uh, and the Ds, yes, they did get a win, but it was a scrape through uh, the line against North last week. So there are two teams, like I said, Melbourne are going down, Brisbane are going up, and the form suggests Brisbane, and they're at home. Um, you never know with Ds, because Ds do have the ability to win games, but the signs are certainly pointing to the favourites who are Brisbane Lions. So I think that is the way we are going to go with a, a decent win. Let's go 32 to the Lions. Next, Saturday 29th, Marvel Stadium, North versus Western Bulldogs. I feel sorry for North. I really feel sorry for North because they try so hard. They try so hard, but without results, without the points. And so they still sit bottom of the table. And last week was a really good chance. Obviously, the week before, they threw away, what, a 50-odd point lead? Insane. Um, so they can't be tipped. I know they got a result a few, game, a few weeks ago, but they just can't be tipped. It's just not worth it. So Bulldogs, potent uh, potentially, they are able to get the result here. Um, Bulldogs also trying to fight for that top eight, only two points off it. So I got to give Bulldogs the win and it should be. I, I'm going to do the same as I did last week and hopefully they won't let me down. So a 40 point win for the Dogs. Fingers crossed it will go that way. Next, Sydney Cricket Ground. Sydney Swans, go Bloods, South Melbourne versus Frio. Now, Swans are playing sensational football and can they keep it up? That's the main thing. Only losing one game this season. I think they should be able to keep it up, especially playing at home at the SCG against a Fremantle team who performed well last week. But you don't know what team they're, you know, they're going to bring with them, if their players are going to stay on the bus or not. And so I can only go with the Swans. I was going to go with the Swans anyway, because they're my team. But Swans are so good at the moment. You know, the quality throughout. Um, and last week, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention Amati uh, with his nine goals. Fantastic performance. I still don't see him as an incredible player yet. But at least that showed sign of he's got potential. I think he needs to get stronger. His kick and accuracy does need to be better but that nine goals was sensational and hopefully that's what he needs to really kick on now um and and be that front line that we need for the swans but it may not be easy to beat but i'm confident swans are playing so well i'm gonna go with a 30 point win for the swans fingers crossed hopefully we'll push away even further Next game, uh, don't know where it is, we'll find out, uh, probably at the Sun Stadium, uh, Gold Coast versus Collingwood. Okay, um, Collingwood have managed to get themselves up to fourth place. They had such a poor start to the season, but their form is pretty good, pretty good. And they've shown their resilience, that's the thing. They've shown their resilience coming from 50-odd points behind against North, who shouldn't have let that slip for sure. Um, but Gold Coast, they're at home. It's not a guarantee that Collingwood would win. So I'm going to go with a fairly tight one. Um, they've, you know, Pies have played much better than, than the Suns. So I've got to go with the Pies. But I'm going to keep it tight with a 10-point win for the Pies. They haven't been massively convincing, but they have got the results. That's the most important thing. It's all about who wins, not how you do it. Next up at the Adelaide Oval is the Crows versus the Giants. Look at the form on these two. Look at the form. Giants 
are obviously still in sixth place, but their form is not helping them. Um, and they could easily drop out. They could. I'm not sure who they would drop out for. Um, Brisbane, uh, they are performing well, but I just, I don't know. I don't know. But I, uh, I fancy GWS actually. I know they're away from home, but they did show some signs against Swans, who are playing so well. <laughs> So I'm going to go with an away win here by two goals. Let's go by 12. We'll see how that goes. Then MCG, Cats versus Essendon. I don't know why it's at the MCG and not at the litter tray, um, but hey-ho. Cats are playing so badly. Um, Essendon in third, Cats are in seventh, but Cats are another team. This is the amazing thing. There are some teams, GWS, Geelong, Port, Melbourne, who are on the cusp of the top eight, but not performing like top eight sides. So I don't know. Um, Essendon are the inform team out of these two. Hmm. It's not easy because I know the Cats can perform. That's the thing. But you've got to go with Essendon's form here. You have to go with Essendon's form. So let's do Essendon by eight. A fairly tight one, because I know Cats can perform. Sunday comes around then, and it is Saints versus Poor at Marvel Stadium. Not an easy one to call. Both teams, three wins out of their last seven. Not great form. Uh, Saints currently in 14th, though. Um, Port trying to hold on to their top eight spot for sure. So, I'm going to go... I'm going to go Port. Port have got to get their form back. They will be desperate. So let's do Port by 10. Not an easy one to call. That one's probably the tightest one to call, I think, so far. But then MCG, Richmond versus Carlton. Carlton now four wins in a row. They are currently in second place, trying their hardest to chase down the Swans. I don't think they will catch up, but they will not lose this game or I will eat my hat, as they say. So I'm going to go with a Carlton win by 40. Five, six, 46 points. A big score for Carlton. Optus is the last game of the week. West Coast versus Hawthorne. Look at that form from Hawthorne. That is insane. Hawthorne could get in, uh, could get in to the top eight. And they they started atrociously. But wow, this form has come in. At the start of the season, you could not tip them to win. But now, against a West Coast side, I know it's at the Optus, but oh, I don't know. I don't know. No, screw it. Let's go West Coast. Let's go West Coast to, amazing to say this, produce an upset. I'm going to go West Coast by lucky 13. Yeah, lucky 13. Please don't be unlucky. So to recap my picks for the week, I have gone Brisbane by 32, Bulldogs by 40, Swans by 30, Collingwood by 10, GWS by 12, Essendon by 8, Port by 10, Carlton by 46, and West Coast by 13. I've got a few bigger scores in there this week, which hopefully they will go well. Uh, the tight ones to call, Saints versus Port, that's not easy. Hawthorne versus West Coast might be a, a tricky one to call. Um, but hopefully the others I will be fairly successful in. I would like to go up a lot. Please, I beg you. AFL gods, help me out. Thank you so much for watching. It's obviously it's obviously an, uh, just a challenging season for me. Uh, but I'm watching as much as I can. I'd love to be doing more watch longs, but I've been so busy. But things are looking good for Sydney. So thank you so much once again. Please do like and subscribe. And I will catch you next week. Hello,